Hi, Kim Schmidt again. During our hands-on lab at AWS reInvent conference in 2015, we had our lab was on creating a data warehouse in Amazon Redshift in two hours. And one thing we made sure to do is to implement AWS best practices. There's one best practice that is really misunderstood and not used enough. Normally, I would assume most of you come here to aws.amazon.com, click sign into the console. And what you do, you sign in with your email address and your password. to get to your management console. Now I want to point out here that I am at my root level account. That means if I allow my uh, employees or whoever to log in as me with my credentials, they will have access to everything. They could add, edit, delete. They could delete everything. They would have access to your credit card information in your billing. That is something you don't want to do. And part of that is the misunderstanding of identity and access management. I want to show you what it looks like to log in as a uh, individual user account. This is what the window looks like. And I'll come back to this in a bit. So if I go here into identity and access management as the root user, I can go and I can create users. Users are in groups and then they also have policies and roles. So let's create a new user. Let's call this um, Kim Schmidt user one. All right. You want to clear out the generate and access key for each user and note you can do five at a time because you want to know what those are and then say create and here's Kim Schmidt user one and if I scroll if I click on her okay I could add her to a group but I don't want to do that yet because I want to show you how to do that and I don't have a password and I wanted to do that on purpose so let's go to the groups and let's create a new group let's call it Kim Schmidt I A M group and then it'll ask you that you can add up to 10 policies to attach and these are permissions now I'm just going to randomly uh, choose some for the sake of time and you can go through this yourself the ones that aren't checked you'll get errors and you go on to next step it'll tell you the name of the group and what it has access to and you say create group so that's Kim Schmidt IAM user group. Let's go back to users and go to uh, Kim Schmidt user one. And let's add her to that group. Add to group. Now here you'll notice some things that right here I am added to that group. I could add different policies, but the policies are already explained as I chose by the check marks in that particular group, but I can change them. The security credentials is like a public and private key for making secure REST or query protocol requests to an AWS service API. When you do that, you're going to want to copy the private key somewhere safe because it'll be the only time you will see it. Now moving down, um, I'm going to create a custom password and that's what I passed up in the other uh, window. I'm going to add a password. I'm going to add a custom password. And apply. Now it says, yes, I have a password. You can add a multi-factor authentication device, which would be a 
external device that regenerates a password for each login. And you can also have SSH keys for code commits and things like that. But I have this user now, Kim Schmidt user one, okay, who's in the group, Kim Schmidt IAM group, and it shows there's one user and what it has access to. If we go back to the dashboard, I want to show you that all IAM users that you create will have a customized link to log in with. And that, that's for all your users. So normally it wouldn't say Kimmy Schmidt. It would say uh, Contoso or whatever, uh, AdventureWorks or uh, whatever Amazon Web Services uh company name in that place and that's you know how you would sign in what what you would use let's do copy link and look at look at what's there it's that uh url that's the customized sign in url for all your users and no matter what access you give to each user, it will apply to them individually as you log in. I'm going to sign in here. Now notice, I am logged in not as Kimmy at the root level. I am logged in as an IAM user named Kimmy. It could say IAM user Bobby or whatever, but it's very important that minimally you assign users and groups and policies. And that's the basics to AWS IAM.